Good morning, and away we go. Again, we're going to use our towels today, or straps, so grab one if you haven't already. Get comfortable on your back. Thank you for joining me. My dog, the Iroh, he is right outside of the screen. If you can't see him, he's over here taking a little snooze. So start with your breath where we always start, just letting everything settle in. Your eyes are closed. Your breaths are very restorative here. And remember, we're breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Your option is in and out through your nose. See which one brings you the most relief right now, the most peace. And just allow that breath to happen. Just enjoy your breath. It's amazing how we breathe all day long and yet we don't really notice our breaths until we get to our yoga practice. So this week, devotional time is going to be spent just thinking about how we can be the light to the world, how we can shine our lights to others because we know the world needs our light. In Matthew 5, 14 and 15, it says, you are the light of the world. And I like to picture here like a lighthouse bringing in ships that are lost, those big, beautiful lighthouses on the coast. It says, a city on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives a light to all of the house. So again, you are the light of the world. So if you want to picture that in your mind right now with your eyes closed, just being a light others. God has given you a light to share, to spread, to illuminate in the darkness. So we're thinking today about how we can let our lights glow, how we can let our lights really shine more. And maybe you've been already trying to do that. And maybe you just want to do it more. Bring that light that light that you have, that light that God has given you out to the world. Take in a few more breaths. Just thinking about your light and how you can bring it out to others. spine here. Always a great place to start. On your exhale, we're going to bring your right knee in. Hands at your lower leg. Squeeze that right knee in towards your chest. Maybe you aim it towards your right shoulder, but really draw that leg all the way into the body. And then we'll release. Take a big breath in. Stretch all the way back. Reaching back and pointing your toes. Let's exhale and do that left side. So bring that left knee in, hands interlace to your lower left leg, squeeze that leg in. Again, maybe you draw it straight into your body or maybe towards your left shoulder. And release, take it all the way back with a big breath in. Big, long stretch. Last time here, so we're gonna stretch and then exhale both knees in, drawing both knees into your chest with your hands at your lower legs, and gently rock left and right. Good. 
So I want you to take your knees wider here and your hands on your knees and just rock and roll left and right but with really wide legs. See how that feels a little different into your hips and your lower back. Just notice what you feel. And we'll bring it on back into center. Take your arms out to the sides with your feet side by side now and your knees together. Let's circle some nice big circles. And eyes are closed, just breathing, drawing out those big circles with your knees. One more. Let's take your time here. And we'll gently reverse. Go the opposite way. Use your core as you circle those legs. Just very slowly and with intention. And we'll take one more. And we'll bring it back into center. To your mat, so your knees are bent. You're going to take right leg high, interlacing fingers behind your right leg, flexing your right foot, sending your right heel up, throwing your right toes down. Just working into the back of that right leg. It's going to determine what's been going on here. You can tell my legs are really tight. You need this stretch. So maybe you want to rock that leg a little bit forward and back. Take it into center and let's circle out the right foot. So work into your ankle, your foot, your toes. And we'll go the opposite way. And we'll take one more. Bring it back into center. We're going to go into our lying pigeon pose here. So bend your right knee. Your right knee is in your right hand. Your foot is in your left hand. Draw that leg in towards your body. So you're keeping your shoulders squared off, your neck is long. You can extend your left leg if you want, or just keep your left knee bent either way. And if you want to get some movement here with that right hip joint in your lying pigeon pose, feel free to do that. a few more just breaths here or movements, whatever feels good. And then we'll extend that right leg up again. So again, you're flexing your foot, you're pulling your toes down. We're going to lift the head. It's an option if you want to towards your right knee, scooping the belly down and you're really pulling the right toes down. So if your head is up, we'll go ahead and lower it down. Bend your right knee, right foot on the mat. Left leg comes high, interlaced fingers behind your left leg, bending your left heel up and drawing your left toes down. So again, maybe you want to get a little movement in that left leg, maybe forward and back, or maybe not. Maybe just stay still. Let's see what works. Beautiful breath here. So if you're getting some movement in that leg, bring it back into center. We'll circle the left foot. Spread out those toes. Take one more and go the opposite way. Working your foot, ankle, toes, and using your breath. And we'll go one more. All right, let's bring it back into center. So lying pigeon, left hand on your left knee, take your foot and draw it in with your right hand. Get the angle that works here for you. Again, you can get some movement into that left hip. And just do whatever feels comfortable with your right leg here. Neck is long, shoulders are squared off. 
Using your breath. Very nice. We'll take a few more. Coming back into center, setting that left leg again. Hopefully the second time feels a little more stretched out. And your option here is to lift your head towards your left knee, scooping the belly down. Setting that left heel up. Alright, so if that head is up, go ahead and bring it on down. Great job, everybody. Bend your knee, bring your foot to the mat, both feet on the mat. Take a nice, strong bridge here. Arms at your sides, palms facing down. So I want you to see how close you can bring your feet in towards your hips. And if you can, see if you can grab your ankles. Okay, maybe you can't. That's okay. I know. It's kind of hard to do. So don't worry about it if you can. It's just a little extra challenge there if you want it. So we're going to lift the hips. Okay. So press your chest up towards your chin. Again, maybe you can reach your ankles. Now that your hips are down in the way, maybe you can reach them better. If it doesn't feel comfortable for you or if your knees don't feel right, go ahead and back off. Just come to a regular bridge pose. Again, it's just an extra challenge if you want to try it. So we're lifting chin, we're lifting chest, we're lifting hips, we're breathing. We're going to take in one more breath, really lifting up, and then we're going to exhale and lower down. And slowly bring your spine to your mat. And once you get your tailbone down, bring your knees into your chest. It's a nice little counter pose for your tailbone there, your bridge pose. Counter pose is to bring the knees in. So we're going to do it again. Line up your bridge. Go ahead and lift up. This time we're not going to go through the heels. We're going to interlace the fingers under your hips. Drawing your shoulder blades together, rooting down into your feet. Again, really focusing on lifting, stretching out the front side of your body. Using your heart space, expanding your chest. We'll take in one more breath. Really root down into your feet. Really lift that chest. Release. Exhale, lower it down slowly with the tension. Once your tailbone is down, again, we're going to draw the knees into the chest. Into that nice little counter pose. Beautiful job. Hands behind your knees. Rock and roll forward and back. Take about four or so. Come up to your seated position. We'll come right into butterfly. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Great job, everybody. Again, good morning. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, good afternoon. Or for Chris in the UK, good evening. Big breath up, inhale. Take a big forward fold and exhale. Reach your fingers out, look down. Press the soles of those feet together. I'm gonna let it shine. Let our light shine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let's walk over to the side. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Come back into center. The shortest song ever. Let's go to the other side. Stretch it out. We'll bring it back in the center. And come on up. Take your legs really wide here. Feet are flexed. Make sure you're on your sit bones. We'll take a big breath up. Inhale and fold over and exhale. Come to your forearms. Maybe you want to rest, reach all the way out. Whichever one feels better for you, just go for it. Take a 
couple of breaths here. Again, toes towards the sky.
here and with their shoulders. All right, very nice. We're gonna take a couple more. Beautiful, bring it back into center. Go ahead and take your towel strap to the side. Find your way to your tabletop. Come onto your knees. Okay, so we're gonna start working into our neck. So take some nice big yeses with your head. Up and down. Make sure you press your chin towards your chest as you come down. And then bring your head to center. We'll go to the right and left. Your nose, right and left. We'll bring it back into center. Do some more yeses here. Up and down. Bring it back into center. So we want you to come up over your knees, or maybe you just want to sit back and sit on your legs. We're going to take the arms out and just roll out our wrists. Very nice. Open up your hands. Go the opposite way. Just rotate. Spread out your fingers. Spread those fingers. Nice job. Coming back to your tabletop, left hand under your nose, right arm high, big stretch up, reach up. We're going to pass that right arm under, but stay lifted here. Take a little twist, look for your right hand, and then reach back up, nice and big. Inhale, exhale, pass it under, take a little twist, look for your right hand, and one more time, big inhale, up. And this time, pass it under, and bring your body down and lean into your right shoulder. So the right side of your head is on the mat. Lean in. And take a couple of breaths here. And we'll come back into center and we'll switch. Great job, everybody. So right hand on your nose, left arm high, big stretch up. Reach up, pass it under. Look for that left hand, go for that twist in your upper body. Bring it up. Inhale. Exhale. Pass it under. Look for that hand. Good job, everyone. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Pass it under. This time, bring your body down. Lean into that left shoulder. Head on the mat. Hips are high. We'll take a few breaths. Great job. All right, so take that left arm out. We're going to go into our puppy pose. So your arms reaching forward. Remember, your hips are over your knees. Nice big stretch in your spine and your back. Reach forward with your fingertips. Head on the mat. Two big breaths here. And we'll come back into our tabletop. Nice job, you guys. Let your hips sway a little bit here. Very right, nice. Let's press it out one or two more times. And then bring it back into your tabletop. And we'll go to our downward facing dog. Lift it high. So in your down dog, you're going to walk it out. Come out your heels. See how that feels. All right, let's take our legs wide. Walk our hands to the feet. Deep bend in your left knee. Stretch out the right side. Come center and go the other way. Deep bend in your right knee. Stretch out the left side. Bring it back into center. Bring your hands to your waist. Look up halfway. And then we're going to come up all the way. So we're going to bring the body up all the way. Take a big breath up. Inhale. Take it down, exhale, I want you to toe your, turn your toes out, heels in. Do that again, big breath up, inhale. Exhale, sit it down. See how low you can get your hips. Inhale up, exhale down. One more time, inhale up, 
Exhale down, turn your toes towards the front, hands come to the mat. Walk your hands forward, come back into your downward facing dog. Right leg comes high, right foot forward, runner's lunge. Okay, we're going to go from runner's lunge to pyramid here. So you're going to move forward and then back. Just come forward and back. Front knee is bent and then front leg is lengthened. All right, very nice. You come back into your runner's lunge. Push off with your back foot. Have it come to meet your front foot. We're going to slowly rise up. Inhale. Take your arms high. Let me step over here so you can see my hand. Hands in a big fist. Come over to the side. Stretch out your side body. Come back to center. Go the other way. Bring it back into center. Swan dive it down. Take your left leg back to your runner's lunge. And right foot comes back to downward facing dog. Good job, you guys. Let's go ahead and walk it out. Take your legs wide. Walk your hands to your feet. Take a deep bend in your left knee. Stretch out the right side. Come center. Go the other way. And come center. Bring your hands to your waist. So nice flat back here. And then come all the way up. So again, we're going to turn the toes out. Heels in. Take a big breath up. Inhale. Exhale. Sit it down. See how low you can go. Inhale up. Exhale. Sit it down. Nice strong legs. Inhale up. Exhale down. We've got one more here. We're going to take it all the way up and then swan dive it down. Turn your toes forward. Walk forward back into your downward facing dog. Nice job. Left leg comes high. Left foot forward. Runner's lunge. I still love this song. This song is so old. Remember the news, boys? All right, get some movement here. So, runner's lunge to pyramid. Great job. Come back to runner's lunge, push off. Your right foot forward, slowly rise up with that rounded spine and then lengthen everything towards the sky. Hands come in a nice big fist. Take a stretch over to the side. Bring it center and go the other way. And bring it center and swan dive it down. Find your way back into your downward facing dog. Walk it out. Pedal out your heels. All right, we're going to tiptoe forward towards our hands. Okay, so just come on those tiptoes. Once you get to your hands, drop your heels down. Come to your chair pose. Drop your hands to prayer. Drop your hips. Check out your feet. Make sure your feet are parallel. We'll sweep the arms back, palms up. Nice little work into your triceps there. Your hands back to prayer. Take it all the way up. Left leg comes back. For your high lunge, draw your, the ball of your back foot. You can drop your heel if you need to. So we're going to bring the body down. We're going to sweep the arms all the way back and come back up. We're going to do that three more times. Body down, sweep the arms back, come all the way back up. Use your breath. Exhale down, inhale, bring it up. Two more strong ones. Take it down, bring it up. And one more. Take it down. Take it all the way back up. Back into your high lunge. Nice job, you guys. We're going to drop your back heel now and walk your right foot over to line up for your warrior two pose. So your right heel and your back arch are lined up and you're in your warrior two. Check your arms. Reverse your warrior. Bring it back. 
back to warrior two. Come to your side angle stretch. Right arm down and left arm high. Come all the way up the back. You can go straight to reverse warrior. Cartwheel your hands to the mat. Right leg back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and take your vinyasa here. Take your flow. So find your plank, lower down, bottom of a push up. Inhale, cobra or up dog, and down dog. All right, so go ahead and walk it out. Breathe. All right, let's tiptoe forward to our hands. Drop your heels when you get there. Find your chair pose. Sit low. Sweep the arms back. Nice job. This little light of ours, we're going to let it shine. Bring your hands to prayer. Dive it up strong. That right leg is going to come back. Swing your high lunge. Or again, you can drop your back heel, whichever you prefer. Bring your body down. Sweep your arms back. Come back up to your high lunge or your warrior one. Add three more. Take it down. Sweep it all the way around. Come back up. Use that breath. Body down. Sweep it up. One more here. Here we go. All the way around. Use that core. Come back up. So now we drop the back heel. It's not already. Come to warrior two. So work your left foot over to the right. So your front heel and your back arch are lined up. You're in your warrior two pose. We're going to reverse. Crazy song. And then we're going to go to side angle stretch. Left arm down, right arm high. Stay with your breath. So we're going to come all the way up and back, go directly back to your reverse warrior. Cartwheel hands to the mat. Left leg back, downward facing dog. Good. Take that vinyasa, however you take it. Drop your knees. Come back to your downward facing dog. And your child's pose. Okay, this one's a little bit too much for child's pose. <laughs> Let's come into our child's pose. Oh, this little light of ours, we're going to let it shine. So let your head rest here. Take some breaths, take some water. Again, Matthew 5, 14 and 15 says, You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor do people light a lamp and put it under a basket. But they put it on a stand and it gives light to all of the house. And then in Matthew 15, 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So sharing your light and your love with others bring God glory. Which is a marvelous thing. Shining your light, bringing others joy and hope and encouragement, light in the darkness, but you're also glorifying God. And please take some time here just to think about how you can be that light. You have a light inside of you, whether or not you realize it. Maybe God needs to show it to you. You have a light. How are you going to shine that light to others? In this world where there's a lot of darkness, needs your light. When you're hiding all alone, you 
heart and chair. All right, breathe in a couple more breaths here. You can reach out with your fingertips if you want or whatever feels good for these last few breaths here. All right, let's come into upward facing dog, extending up, stretching out your spine. Really extend through the crown of your head. And then tuck your toes, come for your downward facing dog. Walk it out. And when you're ready, walk it forward. So again, maybe on your tiptoes, with those heels high. Once you get to your hands, find your chair pose. Sit it down low, sweep it back. Then bring your hands to prayer, and dive it up. Lengthening all the way up, left leg back. Separate those hands, high lunge or warrior one here. Body comes down, sweep the arms all the way back and up. Do it again, down and back up. Exhale down, inhale up. We've got one more here. Come back to your high lunge. Drop that back foot if it's not there already. So you're in your warrior one. Walk your right foot over to the left. So you're in your warrior two. Okay, front heel back arch lined up. Strong arms. Drop your shoulders. Let's reverse. Bring it back. Reach back. Come to your side angle stretch. Right arm down, left arm high. And then come all the way up, use that core. You can go to warrior two and then come back or just go straight back to that reverse warrior. And cartwheel your hands to the mat. Right leg comes back, downward facing dog. Take your vinyasa, however you like it. Mindful of your breath. You're back in your downward facing dog. Push into your right foot. Sorry. Don't push into your right foot. Walk it forward. Tippy toes to your feet, to your hands. Find your chair pose. I'm doing so good. All right. So sitting down in your chair, sweep back. Bring those hands to prayer. Dive it up. Once you get there, separate those hands, right leg back. Take your option here with that right leg. Body comes down, take it all the way up. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale up. Two more, exhale down. Inhale up. Last one, you've got it, all the way back up. Drop that back heel, find your warrior two. Just make it graceful. <laughs> you can do it. Let's reverse. Take it back. Side angle stretch. Left hand down. Right arm high. Come on up. Take it back. Reverse. And cartwheel your hands to the mat. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. So go ahead and take your flow or go straight to your child's pose. That's always an option as well. So we all end up in our child's pose, head on the mat, pulling your hips back towards your heels. Getting that nice rounding in your spine. Shine on. So we know that Jesus is the true light of the world and he called his disciples, that's us, to also share that light with others. And that's how his kingdom grows. It's also a way we can love and encourage others. Each of us can individually be that beacon of light in our own homes, in our own neighborhoods, in our own workplaces, our own communities. Let's take a few 
few more breaths here. Thinking about how we can be that light. All right, very nice, everybody. Let's go ahead and come forward. Wonderful job. Come onto those bellies. Bring your arms to your sides. Bring your legs together and your toes together. Palms are facing down here. So we're just going to bring up your upper body. Right? So slide your fingers down the mat. Bring your chest up. Right? Just your chest. Try to keep your toes down on the ground. <clears throat> so we're going to take one more breath here. Really lift the chest. You can press into your palm. Make that upper back do all the work here. And then gently lower down. Take the side of your face to your mat and the arms to your sides and rest. Beautiful job. One more breath. Bring your chin to the mat. This time we're going to go into a full locust. So when you're ready, bring everything up. So you bring the chest, arms, legs up. Interlacing fingers if you'd like. To that better chest opener if that works. And see if you can maybe come up a little bit more. Maybe get the legs up a little bit more. Just go for your best. Spine strength that are here. Keep breathing. And we're going to lower down. Shove it all the way down to the other side of your face, your mat, and just rest here. Take one more breath. Your chin to the back. Okay, here we go. Pigeon pose. So lift up. Take your right knee out to the right side. Remember, you want to inch your left toes back. You want to get a nice extension into that left leg and your left foot flexors. Work that right leg around to the place where it feels best. If you want to grab a pillow, pillows work, a block, you can have a yoga block. You can place that under your right hip. Okay, if you want. Okay, one of the nice things, right, about doing yoga in your home, you can just grab whatever you need. And then folding over. Head is resting. Let your neck relax. We're just going to stay here. We're going to let this pigeon work into that right hip. Okay, you can make any adjustments if you need to. If you feel like you need to adjust that right leg or the left leg, go Go ahead and go for it. So find your spot. Find that sweet spot. And then we're going to stay here for about 10 breaths. Okay, 8 to 10 breaths. So just let it happen.
Wonderful job, everybody. Last breath here. out past your left hip. Right toes reach back. And bring that right hip down. That's why we put the prop under the left side. Let's bring the right hip down more. Fold over whenever you're ready. I always can tell you which hip is tighter. I mean, it's definitely my right. So fold over, bring your head down, let your head rest on your hands or on the mat. And again, make any adjustments you might need to make. We have to spend some time here to make this really make a difference, right? So again, we're going to spend at least eight to ten breaths here. Let's go for it. Send your heel up, pull your toes down. And hopefully this leg feels a lot better than when we did this at the beginning of class. A little more stretched out. Just really press your foot into your towel or strap. Deep breath. And then we're going to take the towel strap into the right hand and let it fall open. Right leg falls open to the right side. Keep your left side down. Just do whatever it requires to take that left hip down and not let it follow the right hip. Okay, we'll take a few breaths here. Such a cute little short song. Right, one more breath in your hip opener. Inhale center, exhale twist. Strap in the left hand now, right arm out. Up to your right hand. Push into your strap or towel. You've got sore spots here in your right hip or your right glutes, your lower back. Feel free to take care of that. Rub it out, massage it, whatever feels good. All right, back in the center. Nice job. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Right leg floats down. Strap your towels on that left foot. Setting your left heel up. Draw your left toes down. Just breathe into it. One more breath here. Collar strap in that left hand. Left leg falls open. 
Right side stays down. Get that lovely hip opener here. Your leg is like it's in a sling. Let it go where it needs to go. Let it go heavy. And we'll take a few more breaths here. Left to center, and then I'll we'll switch hands, coming into twist. Power strap in the right hand, left arm, left arm out, you can lift your left hand. Or again, maybe you want to use your left hand to rub out any sore spots, any tight areas. Why not, right? It's there. Might as well. Both feet on the strap, take your feet wide, legs wide, holding on to the ends of the straps. Draw the legs towards you. You can lift your head if you want, if you want to move down the center line of your body. And if your head is up, go ahead and bring it back down. Maybe you want to rock a little here, left and right. We'll bring everything back into center and take that towel or strap off. Drop your knees to your chest with your exhale. With your inhale, take a nice big long stretch back, pointing your toes. Take a big fist with our hands. Stretching. From hands to toes. Let's exhale, bring your knees in, head to knees and knees to head. We're going to do it one more time, all the way back, big breath, big stretch. Take your hands into steeple this time, release your pointer fingers. Can you imagine those pointer fingers are your, your little light, your little flickering candle light shining. <laughs> Keep stretching here. And release. Exhale, bring your knees in, head to knees, and knees to head. That's it. Great job. Walk your legs out. Put your arms to your sides, palms up. Just get to that, again, that sweet spot, that comfy place. Take up some space here. One more big breath in. Big restorative breath in to the belly and the chest. Open the mouth, breathe it all out. And just breathe naturally, softly. Allow everything to rest. Starting with your toes and your feet, the soles of your feet and your heels. And then coming into your lower legs, allowing that also to relax. Acknowledge your knees and then your upper legs, releasing all the muscles in your feet and your legs. Way to your hips. Acknowledging your pelvis, acknowledging your tailbone, your glute muscles, and those hips, and just allowing all of it to relax. And then bringing your attention. 
tension to your belly, lower and upper belly, your chest, your lungs, your rib cage, and allowing all of that to relax. Relaxing everything all the way up to your shoulders, and all the way down your back. Releasing the entire back to your mat. And then bringing your attention back up to your shoulders and down both of your arms all the way to your wrists and your arms permission to relax. All the way down to your hands, down your fingers to your fingertips. Arms and hands completely relaxed. attention all the way back up to your neck. Notice the neck and allow the neck to relax all the way up into your jaw. Dropping the jaw down, allowing the jaw and the mouth to relax. Let your lips and your tongue relax. muscles around your mouth and your cheek relax. Muscles around your eyes. Notice those and the muscles between your eyebrows. Let all those muscles relax. Just acknowledge them and then let them go. your forehead to relax and the entire area of your head to relax. Surrender it into your mat. You continue to breathe softly and enjoy this moment. Using your breath, thinking about your light, the light that God has given you, the light that he wants you to shine. Sometimes our lights are different, but they're all beautiful and they're all well needed in the world. Your reflection of God's love in you. Be the display of Jesus that someone might not see anywhere else. Let's take a moment here to breathe, to rest, to reflect on how you can be the best light possible in this world that needs your light so very much.
job, everybody. Let's gently bring back some movement. Roll over to your side, stay there for a little bit, and then come on up and we'll finish up with our prayer. All right, great job. Let's bow our heads. Dearest Heavenly Father God, Lord, you are the light of the world, and we know that you have put your light in us, so help us to shine our lights, God, even if it's just little ways in our communities, in our households, the grocery store, God, show us ways to shine our light. We know the world needs it. And Lord, I thank you for these beautiful women. I pray that they have been blessed from the inside out and from top to bottom and that they feel renewed and refreshed and restored because of you. And God, we love you. We're so grateful that you died for us on the cross. Lord God, we can never, ever thank you enough for that. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. It's in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for joining me. And hopefully, maybe I'll see you on Friday at DSBC. Oh, and in the email, um, like Rachel, I don't know if this would help you, but I am thinking about and seeing if a Wednesday class will work at Desert Springs. So, oops, I forgot to turn off the recording. <laughs>